Good day, guys. Welcome back to my Final Fantasy 16 Let's Play. And we are doing the hunt boards and side quests today. Next side quest we're going to take on will be... Um, let me show you what it is. I can't remember the name of it, but it's, it was over here somewhere. This one, Under New Management, I think it's called. Under New Management 2. But first, since we're in Delmec, anyway, we're going to take on the... Uh, uh, Thanos, I call him. I don't know what he's actually called, but I call him Thanos. So, yeah. <laughs> we're we're going to do that. Let me just bring up... He's here down in Titan's Wake. He's around this area here. So we're going to fast travel to the Gilded Path. And make our way over to Titan's Wake. He's around this area here. He might even be in this little bit, but I think he's around this area here. So let's go get over there. Be safe. I must have just missed the spawn point. <laughs> there he is. Thanatos. We're going to call you Thanos because you're big, you're purple, and you're evil. Okay, let's see what we can do with him. If it's me you want, I'm right here. Just dive into that. We'll get that. Okay, he went for two for two on that one, didn't he? Three for three. Diamond Dust. We'll get you with this. Let's pull you down with Garuda. Let's give you a Mega Smash. Boom, I like it. Earth and Fury. Oh, I thought I could block that. I thought wrong. I press jump. I pressed it. Damn it. Okay, let's not jump into him. Oh, I fell for it again. You know what it is? I keep thinking it's the same as um, the Crucible Knights in Elden Fling. Oh, he's proven to be a problem. Let's give him a Giga Flare then. Right in the Faust. To tidy up this gameplay, I think. Stop playing like a noob. Alright, I'm going to save that Diamond Dust for when he's almost back on his feet. So about now. way of this. Oh, let's get out of the way of that as well. I jumped into it. I luckily got away from that. I really did jump into that. Normally, I like to jump into it because then I can get my uh, added added damage on. But oh, let's go. That's why I love the Berserker rank. some mega damage. Let's give him some of that mega damage. Straight to Shiva. Titan Fury. Let's rip into him with Garuda. Oh, he's down. There we go. Another A rank monster bites the dust. Another one bites the dust, and that's the dark steel we wanted. And don't come back. Yeah, stay gone. Don't text me, I'll text you. 
All right, guys, we're, we've only got one more A-class monster to do, and then we have to do the side quest to unlock all the other stuff, but we're almost on the S-classes now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take on this uh, Trislithic Terror. I can't I can barely say that word. And we're going to take on, I think it's the Breaker of Worlds. So we're doing the, the Tri-Terror and the Breaker of Worlds. And these are both S class, so make sure you got potions, make sure you save, and get ready for a fight. So the Breaker of Worlds is go to Malthus Rest, follow the swamp lines all the way over to this point over here. So this guy is a iron giant uh, with one of the shields. So he's got a sword and shield, and he hits really, really hard. So we want to try not to get hit by him. There he is, looking all paladin-like. This is a challenging fight. Um, if you really want to get down with these, um, practice on the in the training room. Well, it seems this one has a little more life left in it. All right, then. Again, I like to be using the Berserker Ring. Oh. You got me with that. <clears throat> That's what I get for having Garuda instead of Titan for my block. Again, make sure you've got your potions. Try and time his swings. Let's get some diamond dust on this guy. Titan! Okay. Timing's off. There we go. Garuda. Titan smash. He's going to get back up. Earth and Fury. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. Earth and Fury. Okay. Let's try and get out of this. Pop a potion. I thought I'd get him a stun on that. Diamond Dust, let's do it. Great, staggered. Giga Flare. Prime. Let's get in. Let's get him. Let's get Toggle in there as well. Let's get as much damage on him as we can before we start playing defensively again. Well. Keep your health high, especially when he does this. Good if you can get behind him when he does that move. Dust again. Oh, yeah, get Garuda on him. Titan Smash. Nice. Let's 
get out of the range of this. Oh, I thought I was out of the range of that. Obviously not. It's doing anime moves now. It's a dance of the death. Some nicely timed blocks. Looks prime. Let's just get a little bit of damage on him. Stick on him. So he does a three attack there, remember, if you're trying to parry it. Let's get Shiva here. Hopefully this will stun him. Not quite. This will. Oh, he's done. He's done. Even if he survives all of this, he's going to have very, very little HP. He's done. It's over. And that should be our next lot of, um, or calcium. That's right. Big fight, that guy's really hard to time. But like I said, once you get the timing of the Iron Giants down, which you can practice on in the training room, it, it's not that problem. Next one's a bit of a problem because it has a um, an exit area where you can accidentally leave the area of a fight and it gets it all itself back and it's annoying, which is the uh, tri Terrace, which you've got to do now, which is in Delmec. Yeah, it's in Delmec. So for the Trilithic Terra, you want to go to Delmec Inn and you want to be around this area here. So this is a Chimera, if you haven't already noticed. Um, this can be a tricky foe to beat because you can accidentally leave the area while fighting it. And we've only fought this beast once before, so we haven't got much practice against it. So make sure you save your data before attempting this guy and make sure you've fully potted up. All right, let's go. So get out of its AOE. Get diamond dust on it straight away. Its fire breath is really easy to dodge around to get your berserker ring if you if you're using berserker ring. Let's just dodge into it like that. Then we get our added damage. Oh, we almost dodge into its lightning. We do not want to do that. We've got Garuda on that. Let's get it down. Satan Punch, Earth and Fury. Get out of its AOE, which is pretty easy. Just stick close to it. Almost got him to his first stun. Let's get close, then get far. That's probably its worst attack. Because you'll try and dodge in close, and then you'll try and dodge far away. But can you see the green ring? Do not leave that green ring. Do not leave it. That is the area of the battlefield. You can block these with Titan if you're quick enough. See, it's getting so close to the edge now. So what we're going to do is we're going to make him come to us a little bit. So we're going to bring him, get him to attack us. Because we do not want to accidentally leave that field of battle. Let's get Shiva on him. That should stun him. Yes, it does. Giga Flare. Oh, a bit of stick drift then. Let's get wind up. Prime. 
get Toggle in on the action. Well, let's not get carried away. Let's get out that AOE. Boom. Stick on to him here. Yeah, we're getting kind of close to the edge, so let him chase us. Don't chase him. He will come to you guys. Don't worry about it. Just be patient. Get out the AOE of this. Oh. I don't know why they've given this this an AOE field because it's it's not good for a, an S class fight. You know, it's really annoying that they've done that. Really. We're going to need to get out of this. Let's get Shiva and let's counter it with our own. This HCP is low. Oh, we've got the temporary stun on him. Let's do this. Wind up. Let's give him some hell. It's staggered. Giga Flare. Irvin Fury. Let's prime it. Bang in there. Toggle, let's go, lad. Let's go, Toggle. Let's get as much HP damage on him as we can. Okay, let's go defensively again. Not a problem there. Not a problem there. Kind of a problem. Exhausted, let's go. Oh, I missed. Let's stay away from this AOE area. Make him come towards guys, remember. Just hit him with magic. If you're far away and he's not coming, just hit him with magic. Oh, <laughs> Shiva. Let's go, Diamond Dust. This will do it. This will be it. This will have him. Giga Flare, and he's done. Absolutely blew him off the planet. Dramatic finished. Dragon Ball style. And a level up. Let's go. Love to see it. And there's our next Calcium. We'll need one more now, guys. Size. Yeah, you should put this one your own size, bitch. Yeah. That's our second S class monster down. That's two S class monsters. You're doing well if you're at this point. Again, guys, save. Make sure you are saving your game. Absolutely save your game. And here we go. We go to the dame to start this uh, under new management, too. Do you have a moment, Clive? What is it? It's the Duke, unsurprisingly. His eminence has assumed full control of the garrison and put every able-bodied man to work on the fortifications. The town was left all but unguarded, so Philippe was compelled to form a citizen's watch to fill the void. And though my dear boys have been characteristically willing to assist him in this, they want for bodies. So I was wondering, if you would lend them your strength, that the people of Northreach might sleep easier, if only for a few nights. Of course. Whatever you need. Thank you, Clive. What would I do without you? Philippe told me he had men stationed at... Where can I find the mistress of this establishment? Here, my lady. To whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? My name is Sabine. And it is my displeasure to be the daughter of the Duke of Oriflam, who I understand is causing you and your town no small amount of trouble. I wish to speak to you about what might be done. Very well. Let us speak. I trust you'll forgive me, Clive. Absolutely. Our conversation can wait. Please, proceed. As you know, my father is a most overbearing and supercilious man, and I join you in objecting to his every action. Indeed, I owe you my thanks. 
for continuing to argue against his reckless plans. Yet I fear he is not one to be swayed by reason. No. He must be made to face the consequences of his actions. And who would make him do this? I would. Myself and several other like-minded individuals. Were you to join us, we would surely have the strength to drive him from Northreach for good. Does that not seem a trifle... drastic? Drastic action is precisely what is called for. Unless you are content to see your people downtrodden and dispossessed. My father would have it that citizens exist only to serve the Empire. That they should be forced to make every sacrifice to ensure her revival. But he is wrong. It is not the people who must serve the Empire, but the Empire who must serve her people. <sighs> He's always been like this. Scornful of the opinions of anyone he judged beneath him. But he cannot be allowed to ride roughshod over the common folk any longer. We must fight him. By all possible means. Fight him? No. My purpose is to quell the tension in Northreach, not to stoke it. Respectfully, my lady, our only chance of saving this town depends upon every one of us uniting against our common enemy. Your father and his followers included. While I understand your frustrations, I cling to the hope that he may yet be won round. False hope, I assure you. But I see that your mind is made up. I shall bother you no longer. If you will extend me the same courtesy, I bid you good day. She certainly has spirit. Indeed. But unfortunately for us, that spirit is only likely to harden the Duke's resolve, which may be enough to seal the fate of this town. Not that she cares. This is all about her and her father. Families. I'm sorry, where were we? Ah, yes. I was about to tell you of Philippe's plans for the town watch. But perhaps it's better that you heard them from him. I believe he's in the market, if you'd be so kind as to seek him out. Right away. It's just a pity I cannot join you. I'd like to see the two of you in action together. I bet you would. You little minx. Let's go, Philip. Felipe. This feud has been brewing for a little while, hasn't it? What does the dame have to say about this? There he is. Intent to abandon the people to their fates. Please, I beseech you. If you are a true son of Northreach, you must fight to defend your home. That's exactly what I am doing, milady. Or trying to, at least. The land is crawling with fiends, and someone has to keep watch. Even when our true enemy is hiding in the garrison? Fine. You're not the only able-bodied man in Northreach. Thank you so much for your help. She's got to start a rebellion. She cornered you too, then. Could hardly get a word in edgeways. Like father, like daughter, eh? She made an uninvited appearance at the Vale earlier, hoping to convince the Dame to join her in fermenting rebellion. <laughs> I bet that went well. Her ladyship seems to have a way with people. Anyway, what brings you here? Our mutual friend thought you might welcome some help. Oh, she did, did she? <laughs> right as always. In fact, you're just a man. We've had some reports, you see. Sightings of, uh, you know what. They're back. Seems that way. All over, too. We haven't been able to confirm anything yet, but if you're willing, you could go and see what's what. Right. Where should I look? You know Grieger's Weep? One of the sightings places them somewhere on its shores. I'm on my way. Thank you, Clive. I'll look into one of the other sightings. Let's rendezvous back here later. Roger, Dodger. Damn it. The 
reports were true. I need to stop them before they get to the town. I think we can do this, Clive. I thought that was an enemy then. I tried to attack it. Oh, reinforcements have you. We shall slay these just as we slayed the others. Let's go turbo mode for that extra damage. In. Come on, Togo. Join in, buddy. Eat some earth. Oh, I see it. I see it. There we go. Let's get these. Otherwise, we're in for a never-ending battle. Play ball. Oh, I wish that. Could, I wish that had like a, a cinematic finish where you just knocked it across the lake. All right, let's defeat you for the nineteenth time. Get over here. Easy one. Not that I'm complaining. Call that a test, Ultima. Clive. It's me. Are you all right? I am. But it seems the reports were true. The thralls have returned. I dispatched the few that I found, though. Well, there's something, I suppose. But what were they doing south of town? They all came from the north last time. We might be able to fend off an attack from one side or the other, but from both? Do you have eyes in the north? Some. I should probably go and have a look, though, just to be sure. You head back to Northreach. I want you there just in case war breaks out while I'm away. What do you mean? Her ladyship's been busy working her magic on the townspeople. Stirring up ill feeling towards her father. But she'll have her marching on the barracks if we're not careful. What? This is exactly what the Dane was afraid of. I'll do what I can to calm things down. Be careful out there, all right? Don't worry, I'm not like you. One sniff of those things, and I'm running back to town, screaming blue murder. Treason, is it? Do you not see, father? The people of Northreach have given enough, and only a fool would ask for more. Listen to me, Sabine. Where would our people be without their country, hmm? The Empire is their sword and their shield. It is she that ensures they can live without fear. And now she teeters on the brink. Without their sword, how will the people fight? Without their shield, how will they protect their kin? Can the unarmed stand against the advancing hordes? No. But there is yet hope. A new shield a new sword. A new empire. We can rebuild Sandbrek, just as Great Grieger wills it. Perhaps we could, Father. But we don't want to. Not if it is built on the broken backs of the people. Please, let us not quarrel in the street. You must see that no good will come of this. Our fight is not with each other, but with the threat that draws ever closer to our gates. A threat that your sword has yet to rid us of, your eminence. You will hold your tongue, whore! You may have filled my daughter's head with your heresy, but I will not be corrupted! Corrupted? Your daughter's opinions are her own, as you would know if you had ever deigned to listen to her. At least I hope they are your opinions, and not posturing born of a family feud. 
Northreach deserves better than that. Northreach deserves better than you, Carla. Yes, I know who you are. The slut of Twinside who bedded a brandit. <gasps> Jealous, are you? That a woman might choose a bearer over a pious man of Griga. Clive! I met a swarm of thralls coming south from Oriflam. Hundreds of them. Too many to count. Oh, so fuck you. No. Work on the fortifications has scarcely begun. We will retreat to Care Norvant and there make our stand. Coward. Did you hear me? That was an order. While this is but a heartfelt plea, let us make our stand here and protect our homes. Protect those that we love. Together, for Northreach! You heard the dame? What are we waiting for? Pikemen to the gates, archers to the roofs. Quickly, come on! That's the way, boys. But she is but a common... Poor, yes. And we'd follow her to the gates of hell. The men had their orders, and they looked like following them. I got them spaced out at regular intervals. Whichever direction the thralls strike from, there'll be someone there to meet them. Thank you, Philippe. Rest assured, the people will play their part. The herbalist has donated her stock of medicines to me. Should any of your men be injured, take them to the Vale. We'll see to them there. Thank you, my lady. I will. I'll play my part too. You still want for numbers. Unlike the enemy. I only hope I can go some way to evening the odds. Philippe, can I leave the south in your hands? I doubt the thralls by the lake were the last of their number. Of course. I'll lead a party down that way so we don't get taken by surprise. What about you? I'll make my way up the road to Oriflam. I fought a few of these things. And while I can't promise to hold them all back, I should be able to thin the herd. All right. But take care. Thank you. Both of you. You can thank us when it's over. Till then, madame. Looks like the people finally saw sense into this then. I was, I was worried that we was going to have to... I was worried that we was going to have to, like, quell a rebellion and, like, and fight the very people we're trying to, like, save, really. Slay the enemies. This is more like it. Come on, then. Test me. Oh, Clive getting aggressive. Test me, fools. We would play with them. We're not going to hold back, though, because there are people's lives at stake. God, he's taking a beating. Reverence. We don't know what spells they'll be casting. Not done with you yet. Is it over? No. It's only just begun. Oh, a big guy. 
Okay. Okay, we can take this guy easy. Let's do it. Yeah, he'd be a really big problem if he was to get in the way. Northreach. Oh. Okay, let's get these spectres, because the last thing we need is for Big Bruce there to get healed. Oh! Alright, is there any more spectres? No, I think this is it. It's Brucey boy now. Let's go, boy. In. Wind up. Nice prime. Let's go. Diamond dust time. Nice. All that crit there. Love to see it. You're too slow, boy. Man, you're too slow. <laughs> oh, knockout with an absolute crotch shot. That looks to be the last of them. I wonder how the others fared. Better hurry back to town. Come on, Toggle. I don't know why we just didn't get Prince Dion to show up. Clive. It's good to see you. And you. The road to Oriflam is clear. How did you and your men fare? Well, we ended up fighting for our lives down by the lake. Took a few nicks, but nothing the girls of the Vale can't put right. Glad to hear it. Well, it seems we've survived. For the time being, at least. I thank you both for answering the call. You're welcome, my lady. And I was wrong about everything. I had thought that the only way to unite the people was under the banner of empire. That without a strong hand to guide them, they would drift apart to be borne hither and yon by the eddying currents of fate. But you brought them together, not by force, nor by the exercise of goddess-given authority, but by simply being one of them. By knowing what they feel, because you feel it yourself. Our purpose was ever the same, Your Eminence. You were merely distracted by a loftier vision of empire and glory while our eyes beheld matters closer to home. You have the right of it again, as did you, Sabine. His Radiance said it himself. Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. I forgot that, and I am sorry. I'm sorry too, Father. I should never have taken things so far. I only wanted you to understand how the people felt. How I felt. But my anger got the better of me. Do not blame yourself, my dear. This was my doing. I should have listened to you. 
to all of you. Your eminence, your ladyship. I do not doubt that you came here with the best of intentions. But I believe the same could be said of us all. We all want safety, security, prosperity. Not just for Northreach, but for the entire realm. And we may yet achieve it. If only we work together. Will you join us in this? Yes. We shall. Thank you, Your Eminence. Now that that is settled, I must go and see to the wounded. The Vale's doors are always open to any soldier in need of relief. And today there are more than ever before. Madam Isabel is a rare soul indeed. In these dark times, I see that it is not men like me who should lead the realm, but women like her. You're right. If only I'd listened to her when I had the chance. Forgive me for saying so, my lady, but you still do. The dame said it herself. We can turn things around. We just have to work together. And that goes for you, too. You're one of us now. One of you? Well said, Captain. Let this be a new beginning. Not only for Sandbreck, but for us. Well, since there's nothing more to be done here, I should see if Isabel needs any help moving the wounded. Imagine how disastrous that would have been. They would have been like rebelling against each other and then all those Akashic showed up. That would have been a very bad day for everybody. How goes the treatment of the wounded? I'd be happy to man one end of a stretcher if it would help. <laughs> You've helped quite enough for one day, Clive. Thank you. Don't mention it. Oh, but I must. After all you've done for this town, it is the very least you deserve. Tell me, if Northreach had fallen, what would you have done? A woman of your means could find a home anywhere in the realm, but I sense you would rather have died here. It's a long story. For you, madame, I have all the time in the world. Very well. Long ago, I had a life in the Crystalline Dominion. I was Carla then, courtesan to the nobility. So sought after was I that it was only they who could afford my time. Alas, those halcyon days were not to last. For naive as I was, I fell in love with a bearer. He was my master's guard, the gentlest man I have ever known. After they discovered us together, he was whipped bloody and forbidden from ever looking at me again. And so we fled. Not that we had anywhere to flee to. We wandered, aimless and starving, half dreading, half praying that the next day would be our last. Until we found ourselves here in Northreach. It was the veil that took us in, that fed us, clothed us, and healed our hurts. Those that could be healed, at least. My love was already too far gone. He passed away. He did, not long after we arrived. But at least we were able to share a few moments of peace before the end. It was the greatest gift I have ever received. But the generosity of this town and her people did not end there. The men and women of the Vale supported me through my grief. Shared in it, though I was still a stranger to them. They treated me like a sister. And so I swore that I would always do the same. That I would return the kindness that Northreach showed me.
that I would repay my debt to the veil. Thank you, Isabel, for sharing this with me. <laughs> You're a lot like him, you know. Perhaps that is why I have such a soft spot for you. Never stop fighting, Clive. And I shan't either. I know that it will not be easy to keep Northreach together. But our efforts will be rewarded. Just look at us now. The people, the soldiers, even the Duke of Oriflam and his daughter. All united in defense of this town that we have come to call our home. And what of you? Can we count on your support too? Always. Nice. There's our old calcium. Right, guys, that's where I'm going to leave it for this episode. If you have enjoyed this episode or it's been helpful or, and all that good stuff, do everything that helps support the channel. Thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot, and it's free. Also, why not come join us on Saturdays and Sundays where we stream a variety of games. At the moment, we're doing Dragon's Dogma. We just finished with Final Fantasy 16. So, yeah, it'd be nice to see you there. Until next time, guys, catch you in the next one real soon. Thanks for watching.